Hey everybody, it's Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors standing inside the 2020 Keystone Bullet Ultralight 221 RBS. A lot of words, not a lot of weight on this camper. As a matter of fact, most of the ultralights are anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds lighter than the competition. So some of these you can even pull with an SUV or a crossover. But since we're in the 221 RBS, which is a rear bath, I'm going to start right here in the kitchen because it's L-shaped. Let me step out the way so you can see. Got the round, rounded edges, smooth finish, all one piece, and plenty of prep and setup space. If you're a couple looking for an entry-level camper, but you want some of those creature comforts of home, this is going to be a great option. Storage, storage, space, space, prep, prep, prep. Solid wood on the cabinets, which are also on the belt, on the ball bearing drives. They extend all the way out, finished on the bottom shaker style with the brush nickel fixtures got more storage under the l shape here and as we move over to the three burner stove that is furion with the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash got the led accents on the knobs there got the large oven there with two levels and one of the things i really liked are the deep single basin farmhouse style sinks that are fitted underneath. This is plenty of room, especially if you're just a couple of people. With the cover that doubles as a cutting board, got the brush nickel high-rise faucet there, LED lights underneath, more of those shanker style cabinets, both up top and down below. So if you need storage, you got it. This is a camper you could use for those long weekends. And since we're down here near the floor, I want you to take a look, residential flooring, but heating ducts on the floors there. This is that racetrack style that Keystone is known for with the tough lock connections. 35,000 BTU furnace, which is going to heat this thing very well. Not going to have any problems there. Move over to more of the pantry storage or mudroom storage, whatever you want to call it. Great spot if you want to put, you know, jackets, backpacks, hunting gear, fishing gear. You want to store your stuff up here. You got a nice shelf there. And you're going to see all of Keystone's travel trailers have these charging ports and plug ports all the way throughout those 12 volt usb chargers come in super handy control panel here which gives you access and information to your tanks your flushes your battery powers also controls your lights and your slides got the ac controls here and lp detector right down there check out the hanger on the back of the bathroom door nice touch Got plenty of leg room here on the toilet, which does have the foot flush. I mean, for only one slide and being a corner bath, I am not cramped at all. I move over to the shower. Got this single surround corner shower. A little bit cramps on the headroom here, but if I step over to the skylight, I'm more than fine. Plus with Keystone, you know, they got those glass doors. I really like that. And you got the little latch right there, which keeps them secure while traveling. Single basin sink with the brushed nickel faucet here mirrored medicine cabinet and once again those solid shaker style doors the light accents that keystone put in these bullets really makes this thing a bright airy nice couples camper no other way to put it it even continues over here on the slide you can see the solid wood with the lighter inlay here got your bookshelf there large windows in the slide and of course i'll get to the fridge in a minute but Oh, <laughs> what have you been doing with your life that you don't have a Thomas Paine recliner? Now, some people say recliners can't be slept in. I'll argue that all day long. When you're out at the beach or the mountains or wherever, you open these windows, let the breeze in and kick these comfortable Thomas Paine recliners out, you could easily sleep. Got the two door fridge here, which is LP and gas. Freezer up top, fridge on the bottom. And as you can see, that's plenty of space. If you got that long trip, you don't want the food to spoil. You got room for days in there. And speaking of sleeping, which I could easily do there, wait till you see the little added feature in the master bedroom here. How about a laundry chute right there, which goes all the way to the storage. Get finished with the hiking. You don't want to worry about bringing all that stuff in or leaving your dirty gear on. Take it off, throw it right there. Got the laundry basket underneath. You want to store your hiking backpack, maybe your shoes, some of your fishing gear, hunting gear. You got storage underneath the large bed here. LED light on the top. Got the wardrobe with space to hang stuff there. 
and of course the shaker style cabinets with more storage up above. So Keystone really knows what they're doing. I mean, they've been one of the top selling brands for years uh, for a reason. They meet style and comfort in the middle with your budget. They really do a good job with that. And speaking of style and comfort, how about a TV that covers both the living area and the sleeping area that's on a swivel and has the latch here to keep it secure. Beautiful on the inside, lightweight, plenty of space and style plus power in this camper. We've seen the inside. Let's go check out the outside. Okay, everybody, here we are on the outside, the 2020 Keystone Bullet Ultralight 221 RBS. One of the things that's new for the Bullets this year, the molded fiberglass end cap with the LED running lights that are up top. You got your battery rack right here, your two propane LP tanks right there, power front jack here with the LED light. And let me tell you, that comes in super handy. These are set up for solar. So if you had a solar panel, you could absolutely set it there. But one of the most important things to check on any camper is always going to be these side panels right here. As you can see, gross vehicle weight for this one is 6,400 pounds. Like I mentioned on the inside, these ultralights run anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds lighter than the competition, but always talk to the RV specialist about what can my truck carry? What's the actual weight? What if I put my bags in there, my hunting gear? Well, you could always store some of it underneath on this finished complete pass-through storage right here that has its own LED light. But the option I thought was really cool, they got a pegboard over here. So if you want to hang some hooks to hang your fishing rods, maybe your reels, your lures, or your hunting rifles, whatever, that's a phenomenal option right there. Of course, you got your hand crank jacks for the front and the rear. Fresh water connection and city water connection. Once again, since it's Keystone, they do a great job of labeling. Fiberglass exterior, true fit slides, which really minimizes the use of electronics and gears when putting it in. Got the sealed rubberized safety glass all the way around this camper. External shower, this is the tank flush right here and labeled your gray tank and your black tank. And Bob, if you take a look right there, you'll see on those 15 inch aluminum wheels, this is a double axle trailer that has brakes, electric brakes on uh, both of them. And since it is Keystone, you know, they got that road armor suspension, which really helps distribute the weight evenly, making it for a much smoother ride. Spare tire, four by four sewer hose storage right there. Got the grill mount, which if you saw underneath the bed, that cardboard box, that was a grill there. Got your water ports there and ready for backup camera. If you got a backup camera, you want to get that set up. Our specialists will be more than glad to help you with that. Awning that goes almost the entire length of the side that is adjustable. It's power. It's the Solera. They have the LED lights underneath the extended grab handle and the folding stairs right there. So if you want to do some entertaining and some grilling, this is a great spot. But more than that, if you wanted to mount a TV for outside entertainment, you got a mounting bracket here, you got your key TV connections, which combines all connections into one. So you don't have to chase cables all the way throughout right there if you want to set up external. And of course the power port. So lightweight, luxurious, fiberglass, sturdy. This is just a good camper. If you're looking to upgrade that camping experience, and oh, by the way, magnetic anti-slam. If you're looking to upgrade that camping experience and couples entry level camper, but you want some of those creature comforts of home, lightweight, maybe you don't have a dually and can't pull a fifth wheel. This bullet ultralight is a phenomenal option to check out. So leave me some comments down below. Let me know, what'd you think about it? What'd you like? Did you see any features that you say, oh, I can't live without that when I go on the hunting trips and the hiking trips. At Gander RV and Outdoors, we're about the extreme. That means if you got a dream about camping, we're extremely dedicated to getting you there. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out a camper.